Okay, I just want to welcome everybody. This is Debbie Orr, and we have a great treat uh, today. I've got Dr. Hogue with us, um, and we're gonna, he's going to teach you a little bit, or I shouldn't say teach you, he's not going to teach you tonight, but he is going to uh, give you a little bit of an overview of his training class. Um, we're real, real fortunate because he's one of our own doctors, and he uses the PTL2 laser system. And I just want to kind of share um, a little bit about him, if I can get this slide to move. I, this, I don't know about this software. There we go. Okay, Dr. Ho graduated from Palmer College of Chiropractic in 1982, and while he was at Palmer, he served as the president of the AK Club and uh, as a workshop assistant uh, with over 100 hours of AK. Um, his 33 years of experience of teaching over uh, is it 3,800? I can't even see my slide. Hours of applied kinesiology has included uh, uh, numerous, numerous chiropractic and dental groups, and he's a certified diplomat of the International Board of Applied Kinesiology. He's also a chair of the U.S. Board of Certified Teachers and International's Curriculum Committee, and Dr. Hogue oversees um, teaching policy in the United States and coordinates international uh, teaching curricula. So we're, you can see all of that. We're very, very fortunate that uh, he's kind of uh, going to bring all of our practitioners in and uh, uh, teach us at his training. So Dr. Hogue, I'm just going to let you take it from here and just tell us a little bit about your training because I know lots of our practitioners have asked me about learning kinesiology and how it can help them in their practice but also with the PTL2. So I'm just going to let you take it from here. Okay, great. Um, oh, that, that actually turned up this time. Uh, so as you see, a possible exam question is kind of a little bit of a joke, but the thing about applied kinesiology is it's a system of actually talking to the body. And some people call it functional neurology because you can take neurology and you can put it into muscle testing format. and uh, you can get a lot of information that way. Also, uh, functional physiology. One of the things I really loved about AK was going through school is you go through and you take endocrinology and splanchnology and hematology and say, what am I going to use this for? I'm a chiropractor. Well, with applied kinesiology, you've got ways to take all the information, everything you've learned, and make it clinically effective, clinically relevant. That's also, for those of you who are more of a philosophical bent, it's a way of it accessing the body's innate intelligence. Because really, the biggest authority on the body function is that person's body. And we have access to get that information directly through muscle testing. Let's go to the next one. So you may be wondering, why, why should I learn AK? You may already think, well, I want to learn AK, but here's some more reasons. Uh, to be able to help more people, that's one of the reasons I really wanted to learn AK. Well, it helped me. I had horrible health problems, and I was fortunate enough to be a, a patient of Dr. George Goodhart, who actually founded Applied Kinesiology, and he changed my life, and I wanted to do the same for other people. But Applied Kinesiology allows you to treat problems, you know, approaches to treat problems that you wouldn't be able to treat otherwise, just like the PTL laser does. PTL laser greatly expands your ability to help your patients, and Applied Kinesiology will not only help you use a PTL laser more effectively, but also to treat a wide range of other problems that you couldn't treat otherwise. Help prevent practice burnout. You know, uh, Greg Stanley, who founded Whitehall Management, um, has said that the biggest problem chiropractors have, they get about uh, five or ten years in practice, and they just can't stand to see another headache, another low back pain come to the door. Now, again, PTL laser helps expand that a little bit, so we don't have that that burnout, but with AK, uh, it's always an ex it's always an exciting day. New things are always happening, and you can treat just a wide range of problems that you don't get that that boredom burnout. Also, AK helps te teach you how the body really works. Now, I should warn you that if you're somebody that really likes to think about the body as being very um, uh, following the rules and everything, like a nice neat little box, you're not going to like AK because the body is much more dynamic than that. Uh, it's much more complex and much more wonderful than that. But through muscle testing, you will be able to learn how the body actually works. And I've been doing this for over 35 years now, and I still you know, have days when I'm in the office, oh, really? 
that's how that's that's how those teams are connected. Uh, it's a constant learning process and a wonderful learning process. Also, because the public wants holistic health care, uh, people want they're tired of of drugs and surgery. They want uh, nutrition therapy. They want herbal therapy. They want homeopathic therapy. They want myofascial therapy. They want emotional clearing types of therapy, and AK includes all of those things. See, I just had a little problem here. Okay, can't see the. I can see it now. Um, and you'll be in a perfect position. Are you still there? I hope I'm still. I'm getting yes, clicking on my phone. Yes, yeah, you're still there. Okay. Uh, and so you don't need to participate, participate in managed care. I don't participate in managed care. I've got a 95% cash practice. I have students, former students, who don't even submit insurance for their patients because they don't have to. Because you can't go to the chiropractor down the block um, or uh, across the street and get what we're doing in applied kinesiology. Um, as a hedge against recession and economic downturns, um, during the dot-com recession we had uh, 2000, 2003 when most practices or a lot of practices were going down, mine went up, it grew by 20%. Uh, even the most recent one, the 2008 recession, had a, had a, I grew every year except a little slight dip in 2013. I'm not bragging, I'm just saying this is what happened. My, and my, my students told me the same thing who are out in practice. And here's the bottom line, it's a lot of fun. And we're spending most of our waking hours doing something to make a living. If it's not fun, then what, what are we doing? That's right. Now, for you Jeff Foxworthy fans, <laughs> and wondering if you might be an AK doctor, well, you might be an AK doctor if you like solving puzzles. Or if you've ever had fantasies about being a detective, you might be an AK doctor. If you think science is about discovering how things really work, you might be an AK doctor. Uh, if you want results where other doctors, MDs, DCs, DOs, Mayo Clinic, et cetera, can't, and this is, I've had all these experiences, you might be an AK doctor. If you, and especially if you like being challenged but hate being bored, you're probably definitely an AK doctor. I think changing the world can change, changing your life can change the world. Well, you don't need to be an AK doctor to feel this way, but it's something that we experience every day in our practice. Next. So what is going to happen in class? What can you expect? A bag full of technique tools. You will get so many tools, you won't know how to use them all, and, I'm, and, I, and I've got special sections of the class on how to organize everything you're going to learn. But uh, there'll be tools that you learn that you're going to use every day. There'll be tools that you're going to lose, use once in a while. And there's going to be tools you're just going to keep in, in, the, in the bottom of your bag for those really tough patients that you can't help any other way. You're going to have tools to help those patients that otherwise you wouldn't be able to. Uh, there's going to be a lecture, demonstration, hands-on workshop. Every, every topic we start with a lecture, I do a demo. And 25% of the class at least is devoted to hands-on workshop, which is where you really make it your own. Question and answer sessions, special tools, forms, and protocols, as I mentioned earlier, for organizing and efficiency, because that's what's good about AK is that you've got all these wonderful tools to use. What's bad about AK is that you've got all these wonderful tools to use, and a lot of people have a hard time putting them together and organizing, and I've got some great uh, systems for doing that. And practice management tips. I want everybody to go out there and have a great practice. I want you to see as many patients as you possibly can because we're, we're changing. This is about changing the world, folks. I talk about, tell my, my patients, we're creating superheroes here. We're creating people who have an ability that other people don't have, which is being healthy. Most people are not. And changing life does change the world, and so I want everybody to be as successful as possible. So we're going to do patient education, uh, building referral cash practice. My, ca my practice is all referrals, 95% cash, attracting new patients. Uh, building patient retention, according to some practice management, at least two practice management firms, I'm in the top 10% of patient retention in the country. And it's, I'm not bragging, once again, it's just what happens with applied kinesiology, because people love it. Uh, and then caring for problem patients. AK is, is, is classic for, for those problem patients you can't help any other way. So some home runs for session one, uh, the first session of the series. Uh, therapy localization, we'll, we're going to learn how to ask the body where the problem is using muscle tests, and the mechanoreceptor challenge. We can ask the body for a, for a precise vector of correction, whether we're talking about subluxations or extremities or cranial adjusting. Also going to learn low force respiratory adjusting, which is wonderful. I, I, do, I, track, I treat all low force. I figure why uh, not treat every patient like they could be a high-risk patient, because they could be that day. 
So uh, we can treat high-risk patients with safety and confidence, especially patients that are scared, who've heard about, you know, they hear a story from their hairdresser's cousin's brother-in-law, who uh, about their hairdresser's cousin's brother-in-law who got some, you know, a stroke from getting adjusted or or had a, a horrible reaction to something. With low force adjustment, it doesn't happen. Next. So one of the things that makes AK unique and allows us to get such great results is what we call the triad of health. It's really central to our philosophy in AK. And what it means is that no matter what patient comes through the door, no matter what their problems are, we, we assess their problems and look at all the structural components that could be going on, all the biochemical problems that could be going on, and the emotional and mental aspects as well. So structure, of course, includes adjusting, but what holds the, what holds the bones in place? That's the muscles. And of course, that's a specialty in applied kinesiology. Um, and chemically, chemi chemistry can be nutrition, it can be homeopathy, it can be herbology, it can be toxicity, uh, hormonal balance, neurotransmitters, you name it. And the emotion, of course, the mental, emotional side of the triangle is extremely powerful, as we all know. And we combine all of these with every patient in, in looking at their assessment and seeing what they need. Next. And some people feel, well, AK is like, Mixing it's not it's not classic chiropractic and and I, I beg to differ because uh, D.D. Palmer the founder of chiropractic had th the three causes of disease he felt were trauma toxins and thoughts and this corresponds beautifully to the structural aspect the biochemical aspect and the mental emotional aspects of applied kinesiology I like to submit that no other technique or very few other techniques actually address those three causes of disease via D.D. Uh, Palmer the way AK does next. Now here's some key principles of AK. This is why this is what AK is and, and why it works. Um, the nervous system determines the relative tone, facilitating inhibition of the skeletal muscles. Big deal. Everybody knows that, right? Nervous system controls the muscles. The nervous system is constantly monitoring and responding to exogenous outside the body and endogenous inside the body stimuli. Again, you know, no no big revelation there. So can, nervous system controls the uh, muscles and is constantly monitoring all these inputs. The state of facilitation or inhibition of skeletal muscle alpha motor neurons is determined by the neuronal pool summation of these stimuli. So all these stimuli from all these sources together summate and create what's called the central integrated state of the neuron. And the central integrated state of the neuron really talks about is the neuron closer to firing or farther away from firing. All this is standard neurology. What's different about AK though <clears throat> is that we know the AK doctor can change the effect of neural pool summation by introducing additional stimuli. So we can put additional stimuli in, like, for instance, adding a PTL laser to the, to the equation, shining that on the body, or checking nutrition, and seeing if that causes a change in muscle strength. Next. Manual muscle testing can be used to monitor nervous system response to stimuli, and it's a somatic window to neurology at any given time. Wouldn't it be nice to be able to open a window and take a look at the body's neurology and see what's going on? AK gives us a, a way of doing that with the muscle testing. Next. This is some, these are some, uh, uh, based on a paper written by a very good friend of mine and mentor, Dr. Wallace Schmidt. It's one of the top people in neurology and biochemistry and applied kinesiology. So a change in manual muscle testing response is ultimately due to changes in facilitation, excita facilitation or excitation and inhibition at the anterior motor neuron horn, at the anterior horn motor neurons of the muscle in question. So basically, whenever we're testing a muscle, we're assessing that anterior horn motor neuron. Fundamentally, AK is all about excitation and inhibition of neural pathways. Next. AK is a series of sensory receptor-based diagnostic challenges Doctor puts that extra uh, neurologic input in, extra sensory input in, followed by monitoring of manual muscle testing outcomes. So we we put the we put that laser th stimulation in. We we put some mechanoreception on our vertebra. We introduce a nutrition and we and we watch to see what happens. All AK therapeutic techniques are about creating sensory receptor stimulation that results in a net effect of excitation and or inhibition leading to more optimal neurological function. So it's all about creating better neurology and a better function. Next. So the changes in muscle testing responses are termed conditional facilitation, muscle test wrong, 
and conditional inhibition, muscle test weak, depending on the conditions present at the instant of the muscle test. And that's a key there, the instant of the muscle test, because that's it, a facilitation or inhibition can change instantly depending on, on what sensor inputs we put in. That's what makes AK so cool. This is all from uh, a paper written by Dr. Schmidt, 35-page paper, and uh, if you want to find it, uh, you can go to my website, drhook.com, click on AKSP, and you can download the um, paper there. Next. So what can you use this for? So following specific sensor input, muscle testing can be used to assess spinal and extremity subluxations, cranial function, acupuncture meridian energy balance, nutritional status, allergies and sensitivities, mental, emotional stressors, coordination and learning difficulties, indicators of organic and glandular function, and much more. Next. AK is an open-ended system. You can use it for so many things, no matter what you're into. Uh, in, next, please. Uh, in, in, your, in Europe, most of the AK doctors, well, in Germany, I should say, most of the AK doctors are either dentists or MDs, and they use it for testing for infections. They use it for testing medications, things like that there. Uh, so what can you use for PTL laser? Uh, lots of good stuff. Uh, you can test this which program is needed. You know, based on the questionnaire, you can say, well, it could be this, it could be that. You know, you could actually test to see which program is needed, and actually which sub-program is needed, the, what visit number would be most effective for problem cases. You can test where to paint the body. This is really useful, for, for, especially for structural problems. You can zero in on the exact area to paint with the laser. You can also test for how long to paint the area. You could, you could of course, go with the, the standard length of the treatment, but is that long enough, or do you need to do another treatment? Or maybe you need to uh, do it shorter and, and move on to another area. With AK, you can find that out. You can also test what nutrition and, or what supplements are going to work best. And you also test to see, when is the patient done with that supplement? Have they had enough of it? You can go with the standard treatment time, but uh, AK will give you more exact for you. Uh, so here's an overview of session one. Uh, we're going to do the art and science of, of accurate muscle testing. Go in the right and wrong ways to use muscle testing. Believe me, there's a lot of wrong ways of muscle testing being used out there. Now, Debbie had asked me, you know, is this a class for people who are like at upper levels of, of, of muscle testing and applied kinesiology? And, and, and I said, no, no prior muscle testing experience is required. This is the basic class. This is the beginning class. So you can tell me if you've never tested a muscle in your life, you'll be right where everybody else is with this class. Uh, we're going to basic principles in neurology of applied kinesiology, which I've actually just kind of covered. Um, nutritional testing, very, very useful stuff there. Therapy localization, ask the body where the problem is, amazingly useful. Uh, finding subluxations and accurate vectors with muscle testing, so you not only find with the subluxation, but also determine which direction to adjust it. Uh, going to low, low force respiratory adjusting for high risk or scared patients. Lots of patients are scared of high force adjusting. And we're going to be especially focusing in session one on testing and treating uh, low back support muscles. And if we actually get enough um, PTL laser folks there, I'm going to do a special bonus. Uh, no additional charge for this. Sunday at 4 p.m. when we're done with the regular session, uh, it will be a special half-hour session on AK application for PTL laser. So all, all that list of things I told you about that you could use it for PTL laser, we're actually going to go through that and show you how to do it. Uh, with muscle testing. I want to have at least five people. I, I would probably do it for three or four, but I'd really like to have at least five practitioners to make it worthwhile doing that. Okay, and so the fees. Uh, this is actually an eight weekend course, but you can get all the basics in the first class. Um, and it's, it's for doctors at 3.30 per weekend, but BioLac practitioners get a 10% discount, and so it'd be 2.97. I do have a mini class. Uh, the first two sessions uh, combine a lot of things a lot of people want to know about applied kinesiology, and the further sessions are more specialized, things like cranial adjusting and acupuncture and dealing with emotional work, things like that. So a lot of people like to take the first two, and so if, if you were interested in that, um, you could, uh, that usually costs 620 so that's $40 off there, the, the per session price, and for PTL laser folks, uh, it would be 558 so it's over, over $100 off the um, per session price. And for more information, uh, you can call the office. There's the phone number. You can... Uh, yeah, and I just want to recommend this because, you know, I know 
Muscle testing can make such a difference. It can take a lot of the guesswork out of things for you. Okay. And so I think for, and this would be good for those who are well, not yeah, necessarily yeah, chiropractors also. We have a lot of health coaches and um, other type practitioners, naturopaths, mm -hmm. people like that. So this would be a good class for all of those, correct? Yeah, you're... Oops, I think I lost my audio. Through, through yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, something happened there. I said this would be a good class for people, not just chiropractors, but for naturopaths, for uh, health coaches, um, any practitioner, actually, correct? Well, I do have to say that this is limited to practitioners who have a license to diagnose. So it's basically nat definitely naturopaths, chiropractors, MDs, dentists, uh, DOs. Um, unfortunately, we can't, we're not allowed through ICAK regulations to teach the class to like massage therapists, for instance. Okay. Um, That's good to know. Unless they're there with a doctor mm -hmm. who, uh, who, who uh, has a license to diagnose. Okay. Okay. So this class is coming up. What's the dates of the class, this first class? Uh, hold on a second. I, I will have to look at my my calendar here. Yeah, I forgot to put um, it on the slide here. I didn't just thought about that. November 12th and 13th. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that, that would have been good. I didn't think about that. <laughs> uh, November 12th and 13th yeah. is the, is the uh, session one date. And you repeat. And we go from... Uh, I repeat... We're fading out again here. Yeah, you repeat those classes each year. That's at 10 o'clock on Saturday. Okay. I do, I do them each year, yes. Yeah. Yep. So he, you teach. And if you want all about. the information with all the, all the yes, uh, all the information, all the, all the dates, uh, you can go and, and download uh, the flyer from my website. You've got the, the link there. I teach one course per year as so we start over every year in November. Okay, sounds great. Okay, well, Dr. Hogue, thank you very much, and uh, thank you for this opportunity you're giving all of our practitioners, and I think more and more people will probably be learning AK as, the, uh, as we go further. So thank you again for your time.